This summer, Alberta is fighting fire with fire as part of an effort to stop forest fires from flaring up this season. A team of ignition specialists is intentionally starting controlled fires. There are 10 specialists in the province, and they rely on everything from torches to flaming ping pong balls. Yes, flaming ping pong balls to get the job done. Joining me now is one of those specialists, Kevin Parkinson. Kevin, good to chat with you today. Good morning. How's it going today? So far, so good. Okay, flaming ping pong balls? What? What is, what is that? Um, so what it is, it's actually an aerial ignition device, and it has little balls. Inside the balls is potassium permagamate, and when it goes through the machine, it gets injected with glycol, and it creates um, a chemical reaction, and it will fall down onto the ground, and about 25 seconds later, it will catch on fire and then help start the fire down on the ground. That's wild. We're looking at some aerial footage of exactly that procedure that you were just talking about. And I understand when those aren't enough, you use a heli torch. What's that? Uh, so a heli torch is another tool we have, uh, and basically it's a, um, a device that hangs below the helicopter. It has a 45-gallon drum of our burn fuel, uh, which is gelled up. And as we fly over the helicopter, uh, the fire, the pilot and us will come up with a, a plan of where we want to put the fire and it will drop uh, the gel that is on fire and it'll fall down through the trees and catch in the trees and uh, help create the fire there. So many people watching this right now going, okay, why are you doing this? Like what, what's the point of setting fires to help prevent other fires? And what's the response to that? So there's kind of multiple purposes. Um, in the springtime, we do a lot of ground ignition uh, with a, a drip torch. And basically, we're removing the dry grasses in and around communities just to help prevent any uh, fires uh, starting in and around the communities. Uh, we also do what's called prescribed burns. So these burns are, you know, sometimes they take months up to years to plan. We coordinate with other stakeholders and departments and come up with a mission. And sometimes it's for ecosystem restoration or creating fire breaks on the landscape. And then, you know, we also um, use fire to fight fire on, on larger fires. So when the fire is aggressive or, you know, we have opportunities to um, bring the fire to, you know, uh, lakes and creeks and swamps on our terms, we'll use fire to kind of guide it and steer it in towards the lakes and uh, natural breaks or even, you know, man-made dozer guards and stuff like that. It really is incredible uh, what you guys do. I, I, I sort of was thinking this morning about, you as a kid thinking, okay, what kind of job do I want when I'm older? Uh, I'm not sure. I didn't even know this job existed. What, how did you get into this line of work? Uh, well, I started fighting fires basically right out of high school. Um, and then, yeah, throughout the years, you just, you get more experience. And, um, you know, this is one of those specialized streams. So as you move up um, and with more experience and stuff, you can start to do more training and then kind of specialize. And, and this was the route that I chose to go. Pretty amazing. Kevin, we appreciate your time this morning. Thanks so much. No worries. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.